Hey, everybody. It's good to be back with you. Uh, we just want to thank all of you, our customers that have stuck with us, who have shown so much patience. Um, but we have great news today. Uh, first of all, we've shipped thousands of Flex modules. We have thousands more in the pop pipeline. The Flex launch was extremely, extremely successful. And then we got a pandemic. We're tired of talking about that. We hate that word around here, but it caused chaos. But we are working through it, and we are going to catch up with demand. But today we have some awesome news for those of you who stuck it out, who really bought into the whole idea of the Flex Modular system. Today we are announcing new Flex Modules. Jared, what do we have for you today? So we're excited to announce the Flex EMP Shield product. Now the Flex we're excited to announce is uh, completely EMP protected uh, through a partnership with EMP Shield out of Kansas. So Ted, tell us, what are the EMP Shields? Well, the EMP Shields are two uh, unique EMP protection devices made by EMP Shield, the world leader in EMP technology. And we're going to talk about them because they're important. Um, but the Flex EMP Shield system is comprised of two units, the AC power protection module and the DC charge protection module. Um, they are protection for the entire Flex system and everything attached to it. That includes solar panels and any device that you plug into it from electromagnetic pulse, solar flare, or a CME, which is a coronal mass ejection, or lightning uh, strike. So it is the flex, uh, the EMP shields are uh, tested and designed to exceed military standards. We'll put which military standard on the screen because it's a pain to say. And um, it makes the flex modular system the only EMP proof portable solar power station on the market. The cool thing I want to talk a little bit about that with, uh, many of our customers have probably even ordered EMP bags from us in the past. You may be familiar with Faraday bags or Faraday cages. Those have been available for a long time. We've been in that business for a long time. What I'm really excited about with this is this is a, a completely different method of EMP protection that's much, much more secure and allows you to continue using your product as part of your lifestyle like you normally would. Um, Reason being, a Flex EMP module plugs directly into the Flex and allows you to keep it out of a bag ready for everyday use and still completely protected from EMPs. Yeah. The other thing that's great about these products is that they are 100% made in the USA by EMP Shield in one of their Kansas uh, factories. And um, so it's, it's not subject to any of the disruptions, the global supply chain problems that, that we've experienced with some of our other products. So that's the great news is if you were to order one of these today, it ships in February. Of 2022. 2022. This year. Next this February. Month. Yeah, right. So. It's great. Jared, <laughs> let's go back a little bit. Who is EMP Shield? So EMP Shield is the global leader in EMP technology. Uh, their biggest customer is the Department of Defense. The U.S. government compose, comprises a lot of their core business, so they are a um, they are a tried and true U.S. government approved supplier for EMP protection, and they're real. They really are the global leader in this, and we're so excited to be able to partner with them. Yeah. This has been something that has been a long time coming. We've known the folks over EMP Shield now for three years, and this has been a a long. Uh, development, I guess you could say, I and mean, we're excited to get started. If you haven't heard of them by now, you definitely will, because they are going to become a household name. They're, they're literally changing the world. They make devices for home, car, solar, RV, tons of different um, applications. So um, just another question, uh, what kinds of tests and certifications have the EMP Shields been subjected to? So uh, I'll take that one. The uh, like I said before, the it, it the the EMP Shield EMP Shield builds their products to exceed all uh, military ap applicable military standards. We'll put, again we'll put that up on the screen. Um, and the way it works is it's amazing. It pulls excess electricity from um, electrical systems in less than 500 trillionths of a section. Less than 500 trillionths of a second. That's uh, almost unimaginably fast. It's hard to comprehend how fast that is. Um, but basically, the EMP shield device can detect a spike or a surge or an EMP, a pulse from an EMP and shunt that or 
in, in other words, short circuit that power away from the electrical system, protecting it uh, from any kind of damage. And so this military standard um, that, that they uh, meet or exceed requires that the overvoltage spike from the EMP, it, it begins shunting 5,000 amps in 20 nanoseconds. The EMP shield does it in 500, 500 trillions. So, so they way over exceed, they way exceed that, that portion of that standard. It's amazing technology. Um, it's also been tested to other military EMP standards. It's, uh, they're also UL1449 compliant and have been tested at Intertech. The, uh, the military testing took place at Keystone Compliance, which is a federally approved DOD um, approved testing facility. Um, the, the pro these products, this company's products are rock solid. I think one of the coolest things about the military testing that they've been subjected to is that not only do they have to pass those tests, but they have to pass those tests with no damage to the unit itself. So in the course of those tests, they subjected it to over 40 EMP events, and there was no damage sustained by the EMP shield product itself, let alone the components that it was connected to. So it's, it's impressive. Yeah, you hear about other products out there, not, not really even similar to this, that, but that can barely withstand one hit. And yep. this is tested to exceed 40. Um, Okay, so what do we have next? So the next question you kind of answered um, is how does the EMP shield work? Uh, Ted gave you the detail on that with shunting. When In our conversations with EMP shield, I'm kind of a simple guy. The, the way that I conceptualize it talking with, with the folks at EMP shield is that it kind of acts as a black hole for all that extra energy that is released in an EMP. So essentially, it just acts as a giant vacuum for all that excess power in within 500 trillionths of a second. It's just crazy. So, yeah. So, yeah, and, and one cool thing about that um, that I would like to add is that uh, the, each EMP shield can sense up to 10,000 square feet or 250 linear feet in either direction um, from the point of installation. And so it it can pull excess electricity from that, you know, from, from a an impressively long and wide field of, of, uh, of an electrical system. So um, let's ask a few more questions here. Jared, do you need to have both the AC and the DC flex EMP system to, or shields to protect a flex modular system? I would say it depends. Um, I, I know I don't like giving that answer a whole lot because they like to have a little more detail, but here's what it is. If you want to fully protect a flex 1500, you would need to have both the DC and the AC models to protect the DC circuits and the AC circuits of that product. If you have a flex battery and a flex DC console, you would only need to have the, the DC, um, the, the, EM, the flex DC EMP shield. Yeah. Wow, I barely said that. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> so for complete protection, in essence, yes, you need to have both the DC and the AC if you have a flex 1500. If you only have a flex DC system, you only need to have the flex DC EMP shield. So I, I'm going to sneak another question in. Uh, do the Flex EMP shields protect everything plugged into my AC and DC outputs? Yes, that's probably the best part about I said that before. But yeah. that is a really cool function of these products. Anything that you have connected to the device, if it's also protected with an EMP shield, all your devices are as well. So if you have a Flex DC and the Flex DC EMP shield, your phone's connected if it is protected, if it's connected to the Flex your solar panels are, um, all of your DC components, like if you have any of the Road Pro stuff that we sell, um, all those things are secured. 12-volt refrigerators. Yeah, yeah, you name it. It's all. Same thing on the AC side. So if you have uh, the, the AC EMP shield, it will perform that same function for your refrigerator if you have it connected. Your lights, any medical equipment that you might have, communication devices like laptops, routers, um, if you have satellite phones, any, any of those kinds of communication devices, they can also be protected from EMPs. Yeah, uh, that's, that's really exciting news and just, again, amazing technology. So another question that's kind of similar to that, um, will the Flex EMP shields protect my solar panel array? Yeah, and uh, specifically the Flex DC EMP shield will protect your solar panel arrays and um, so all you have to do is have that DC plugged in, the, the DC EMP shield model plugged into the EC8 
on the right side of your flex system, the blue EC8 input, and then attached to your solar panels. And it will protect the entire circuit, whether it's a parallel wiring, series wiring, series parallel, it doesn't matter. It's all protected by the DC um, module. And in fact, if you had your, your uh, solar array permanently mounted, like on the top of a van or at home or yeah. on a, a off-grid cabin, something like that, and you wanted to take your flex system with you, you could leave the flex DC EMP shield connected to the solar panel array, and it would protect those solar panels in your absence. On the same token, if you had that product plugged into just the EC8 and had no solar panels, the DC circuits of the flex would still be protected, which includes all the DC outlets, the batteries, supercharger, etc. Yeah, that that's that's a possible use case. Also, that what what you mentioned is you know some people may want to have two flex DCs, so that you know if they have that permanent or semi permanent semi 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 permanent installation on on a van on an rv or like me on my shed i can leave my uh a, a dc a flex um dc charge protection module um on at all times and have that protected regardless of where my flex D, uh my flex 1500 is and and i would probably always keep another dc um charge protection module plugged into my flex 1500 to protect all of the dc circuits and the batteries so um, that's a possibility. Um, so what about multiple batteries, mul uh, stacks with e um, MPPT superchargers, stacks with, you know, two stacks of five batteries on the flex modular system? What about those? Yeah, that's a great question. The, the flex EMP shield is built with that in mind. So it does cover all connected batteries, no matter how many you've got. If you've got up to the 96 that the flex system can handle, it'll protect every one of those 96 batteries. Multiple superchargers, whatever, it's got it. It's completely built in and ready for a modular system. Awesome. All right, um, can the Flex EMP shield protect my solar panels and Flex power station from a lightning strike? Yes, another amazing, uh, amazing benefit. Um, EMP shield actually guarantees lightning protection and this guarantee is backed by a $25,000 insurance policy. Uh, so I don't know of very many companies that, that do that, that actually have insurance pos policies against their customers' other devices that they plug into their, um, their module. Uh, really impressive. Jared, how hard is the EMP shield to install? You just plug it in. It's super simple. That's, that's the really cool thing about it. When you have the DC side, it literally plugs in in line with the solar panel array. And if you don't have solar panels, no worries. Just plug it into the EC8 on the side. You're, you're protected there. On the front, it plugs in just like a power strip would to the front of the inverter on the Flex 1500 console. You just plug it in, plug all your devices into that, and you're good to go. Awesome. Um, all right. <laughs> this is probably one of my favorite questions of this whole video. Uh, Ted, when are the Flex EMP Shield products shipping? Ah, yes. Well... February 2022, next month. That's that's because they're made 100% in the USA by EMP Shield in Kansas. And they're not subject to any of the kinds of delays and overseas supply chain issues that, that we've seen. So uh, awesome, one of the best reasons for us to be working with these guys. They're, they're very good at what they do. So February. Jared, can... Anyone use a, a Flex EMP shield protection module, the system, with any other portable power station solar generator. So, you know, they have some other brand and they want to EMP protection. Can they buy these for and use them for that? Unfortunately, no. This system is custom built by EMP shield for the Flex modular system. It's very, very specific. There are very precise ranges of voltage where an EMP shield product is designed to function properly. If it's used outside of those bounds, it won't work properly and your system could be damaged by an EMP. So that, that actually is also true for not only other solar generator products or generator systems overall, um, but also our previous products, the Apex or the Kodiak. And actually that, that kind of leads into the next question. Maybe you could take that one, Ted. Yeah. We, are we planning on doing something for customers that have the Apex or the Kodiak? Yeah, so if you own an Apex or a Kodiak, please don't purchase the Flex EMP Shield 
uh, protection modules. We are working with the MP Shield to develop protection systems, the same products, but with uh, different, uh, different parameters, finely tuned for the Kodiak and the Apex uniquely. And so those are coming. Please be patient, um, but I think they'll be coming soon. Mm -hmm. So you, all of you who have uh, made it to the end of the video, now you get a bonus. Um, you get bonus news about some more Flex modules that are in the in development in the pipeline. So uh, first of all, Jared, do you want to talk about the first one? Yeah, the first one we're working on is essentially like a uh, light bar type product or a lantern type product for the Flex stack. So it goes directly in line with like your battery in the console and it provides you with 360 degrees of, of extremely bright lights. Just goes right in the stack. Yeah. And there'll be functionality that'll be really fun on that. Yep. We're working on a super fast AC charging module that will allow you to charge a flex battery in about one hour uh, from AC power from you know, plugging into the wall. Um, and that's, that's going to be about five times faster than even the quick wall charger. So really excited about that really fast AC charging module. So one other thing that we're working on right now is a half size battery. So essentially a, a more compact, less expensive, more portable battery pack that will work right in line with the Flex batteries you already have. And then we have the Flex Wi-Fi module, which will plug into that expansion bay on the top of your Flex Power console, whether it's a Flex 1500 or a Flex DC. That prov will provide uh, connectivity through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth for future upgrades and apps and connect um, connection uh, abilities. So we're really excited about those. So those are just a few of the things we have in the pipeline and uh, we're excited. We'll be giving you a little bit more information about those as they get uh, closer. Those are not launching today uh, like the EMP Shield is. But uh, one, one thing I want to throw in at the end is if you have ideas about future Flex modules, things that you'd like to see, we'd love to hear about that. So, uh, you know, email us or, you know, come in on the chat on our website and let us know about those. Yeah, the last thing I want to say is just as we're wrapping up or kind of beginning the new year, there's a lot for us to be grateful for in 2021, uh, namely shipping out thousands of Flex modules to customers um, and the patience of our customers that have been waiting for us patiently for more of their modules to come. As you can see, we've got a lot in our warehouse. We're just chewing through them and getting them shipped out. Um, but there's a lot to look forward to in 2022. A lot of new modules that we're coming out with more products, um, more things that will kind of flesh out that Flex modular ecosystem to just add value to the system that you already bought into. So we're really excited to begin offering those products throughout 2022. I know there's going to be a, a real big tendency to want to call us and get more details on it. We're purposefully not giving our call center folks any additional detail so that they don't uh, feel like they have to withhold anything. Um, so more information will be coming on those throughout the year. Uh, but there's a lot in the pipeline, a lot coming out, and we're excited to bring them to you. All right. Thanks, guys. Happy New Year.